Here you are, Mitchell. You are going out into the world a free man. I hope you become a useful and law-abiding member of society. Ah, oh, cut out the lecture, Warden. Bitterness won't get you anywhere, Mitchell. Now that you've squared your debt... My debt ain't squared. Not by a long shot. I got a lot of collecting to do. Sounds like you're heading to come right back. Don't worry. I won't be back. For your sake, I hope not. That's why I brought you together here, instead of our customary individual conference by television. As for you, Brown, your department must get results in your rubber research. We are exerting every effort, Mr. Montgomery. And the Department of Ores and Metals, Jewett. Our operating cost is cut to the bone now. Then cut into the marrow. Oh, thank you, Nicky. Let me see, 24.7. Gentlemen, you are about to witness the making of synthetic gold. Well, if you can manufacture gold, it will be the crowning achievement of your professional career. You all know what you have to do? Yes. Are you ready, Nicky? Yes, sir. Put on your insulated helmets. Ready? as well electrocuted me as to scare me to death. One step more, Jameson, and you'd have met instant death. What's all the fireworks for? Gold, Jameson, synthetic gold. You mean you can make gold? I found a way to rearrange the positrons, electrons, and neutrons of the atom to produce gold. Boy, what a headline for my newspaper. Oh, no, not yet. Well, how do you do it? Well, now, my boy, after all, that's my secret. <laughs> Well, now you run along up to the house. Werner's waiting for you. And I'll see you tonight at dinner. All right. And now, gentlemen, we'll pick up where we left off. Are you ready, Nicky? Ready. Put on your helmets, gentlemen. since the beginning of chemistry. This is wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations. Oh, Mr. Cromwell, as a member of this board, 
as well as the personal attorney for Dr. Gironda. Have you anything to report regarding the transfer of 50,000 shares of his stock to Mrs. Gironda? Nothing so far. Well, let's it right now. Miss Dillon, get Dr. Gironda on the television. Yes, sir. Thirty four point six sixty seven point one, that right? Thirty four point six sixty seven point one. The home office is calling you, Doctor. By Jove, I forgot all about that meeting this afternoon. Excuse me, gentlemen, excuse me. Yes, sir, show it. I'm sorry, gentlemen, to be absent. Never mind the apology. What about the transfer of the stock to Mrs. Gironda? I have something of much more importance to talk about than stock transfer. I have finally perfected a method for making gold. Could that be possible? Gold? Synthetic gold. If it is true, we're the richest corporation in the world. And now, gentlemen, if you will come to my home at nine this evening, I will turn over the gold formula to you at that time. You will inform Mr. Bouchard and Mr. Denton. Gentlemen, this meeting stands adjourned until nine this evening at Dr. Gironda's home. This discovery of Gironda's can easily upset the world's entire economic structure. Don't let that worry you, Van Dyne. Tried to take me. <laughs> Imagine anyone trying to jip you. When did you get out? Yesterday. I got things I want to talk to you about. Okay, come on upstairs. Cigarette? No, thanks. What's on your mind, Joe? Did you ever happen to hear of a fellow named Gironda? Dr. Paul Gironda? Sure, what about him? Has he got any dough? Should have, he's got a place that costs him plenty to keep up. You know where it is? Yeah. 
Well, if you'd mind running me out that way. Sure. Got something good? Plenty good. I'll spill it to you on the way out. Shall I serve coffee? Oh, thank you, Wickham. You may leave it. Why, hello, Shirley. Are you warm enough, Mrs. Deronda? May I get your scarf? Uh, no, thank you, dear. I'm all right. Why, well, it's getting late. We'd better be getting to work, Shirley, if we're to finish before Mr. Montgomery and the others arrive. Oh, Paul, must you go? Yes, only for half an hour, dear. Come on, Shirley. There's the Zeranda place, Joe. Some layout. Pull up under these trees. Oh, Verna. Yes, Mother? I think I'll leave you two alone until our guests arrive. But don't let us chase you away. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she couldn't be more considered if she were your own mother. She is a dear, isn't she? She certainly is. And in this hypothesis, I assume that the atomic structure of the base metal was largely disintegrated under thermal velocity into constituent radicals, each radical being electrically charged. I think that's all, Shirley. Now, you can go to your room and transcribe that and type it, and I'll put the rest of the formula in the book myself. All right, Doctor. Why do Calling car number 17, car number 1 at the estate of Dr. Geronda, 6503 Montclair Drive. That is all. What happened, Walter? Dr. Geronda, your father, Vernon. Quick! Dr. Geronda, open the door! Dr. Geronda, open the door! Why, Shirley? What's the trouble? Something happened to Dr. Deronda. My husband. Oh. Ah! Open. Walter, you've got to get in. You two. Dr. Deronda, quick. Open this door. Oh, break it. Break oh. it, Walter. Open the oh. door. What's the trouble here? Who sent for the police? It's up there, sir. Dr. Geron! What's the matter, Jameson? Help me with this door, Regan. Why, he's gone. Who's gone? Dr. Geron, though. He was lying here a moment ago. Oh! Oh, Shirley! What do you mean? What happened? Well, I heard a noise and someone grabbed me and threw me out. You better call headquarters, Bill. 
Don't you touch anything in the room, Jameson. All right, Regan. How do you do, Mr. Gant? Hello, Jacob. Fine, thank you. Mr. Kennedy in? Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. Out to see you, Mr. Kennedy. Well, that's fine, Jenkins. Show him in here, please. Mr. Kennedy, you'll see you, Mr. Gunn. Well. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Kennedy. How are you? Just fine. I see you in from Washington. Oh, that's right. But how did you know? <laughs> the Japanese tree blossom. It's still fresh. There's only one place where you can get that species in the United States at this time of year. That's Washington. <laughs> now imagine a Department of Justice man giving himself away at it. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Kennedy. Well, Mr. Jameson is on the phone. Very important. Excuse me, Gordon. Right, all right. Hello, Walter. Who? Dr. Geronda? Hmm. You don't say. Yeah. All right. I'll be right out. Dr. Geronda? You're getting fast action, Gordon. What do you mean? You came here to investigate Dr. Geronda's gold formula, didn't you? It beats me how you make these deductions. Jenkins, my hat and coat. You're quite sure that when you came into this room, you didn't see anyone. All I know was that the hand grabbed me and threw me down the stairs. What's this? Well, that wasn't here before. Just a minute. Kennedy, I warn you, drop this case if you value your life, the clutching hand. Our old arch enemy, the clutching hand. In that case, we're dealing with a very clever and resourceful criminal, Kennedy. Well, what could he want here? A formula for making gold might be one thing. Come in. Mr. Kennedy, here are some notes on the gold formula that the doctor dictated just before he... Miss McMillan, are you quite sure that you saw the formula book just before you left the room? Yes, the doctor had it in his hand. Thank you, Miss McMillan. That's all. Anything, sir? Oh, not yet. What do you make of it, Craig? Chemical notations. Looks like a page from a formula book. Well, what happened to Dr. Geronda? My belief, Walter. They took him through those French windows. When we came back in this room and found Dr. Geronda gone, all the windows and doors were locked. No doubt you're right. But they were opened and locked again from the outside. And 
that's how it was done. Hey, what are you doing here this time of night? Stop where you are! Stop! Or I'll shoot! Bill, get that car! Let me go. Oh, what is what you that stuff? What's going on? Hey, what's going on here? Nothing on me. Mop. Yes. Help me with this fellow, Regan. Come no, on. Get on. Oh, anyway. What's the meaning of this? I found this man peeking in a window. What were you doing at the window? That's my business. Why, Brown, what's the matter? What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know. There's been a little trouble here, gentlemen, that has to be ironed out. What's wrong? Something terrible has happened, sir. What is this? What's the policeman doing at the door? Mr. Montgomery, this is Craig Kennedy. How do you do, Mr. Montgomery? What's the trouble? Dr. Gironda has disappeared. Yes, and we believe that he has been murdered. Murdered? What makes you think he's been murdered? Dr. Gironda has disappeared. 
and the gold formula with him. What do you know about the gold formula? I know that the gold formula was to be the subject, to be brought up at a meeting you men were to attend. The man who was to discuss that subject and the gold formula has disappeared. I'm also aware of what it would mean for one of you men to own that formula. Do you mean to imply that I would steal my own property? I mean, I mean my company's property? I imply nothing. The government is interested in that gold formula. Government? And gentlemen, I've been assigned to this case as chief investigator. Does that mean that the government can confiscate the gold formula? Certainly not. It belongs to the corporation. May I get you anything? No, thank you, dear. I'll be back soon. You gentlemen may go now, but hold yourselves available for further questioning. Well, well just a minute, Margaret. Tell Mrs. Gironda I'll see her later. She'll understand. Yes, sir. Dewey, Dewey, he doesn't think you did it. Don't worry, my dear. I... Good night. Good night. I'd like to ask Mrs. Duranda a few questions. I'll ask Verna if her mother can talk to you. Verna? Mr. Kennedy would like to speak to your mother. Of course, if it's important. But she's terribly upset. She's trying to rest. Oh. It's of no importance. If you will just excuse me, I'll be on the way. I'm sorry about Mother. Oh, that's all right. I'll see you later, Walter. Right, Craig. <laughs> you realize what this may lead to? Craig Kennedy is a master detective. And if he should get to the bottom of this, why, there's no telling what it is. Kennedy, don't touch anything if you don't want to be blown to pieces. <laughs> 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 